solving this Rubik's Cube. And as you can see, it's totally mess messed up. So I'm going to solve it. So I'm going to look for a white on the bottom layer. Here's one. Blue white. So I'll match the blues, and then you just have to turn it up. And we've got this. Now let's look for another blue white. Here's one. White green already matched up for me, so I just have to turn it up. Now let's look for another one. Here's one. Red white. So I have to put it so the reds match. But if I turn it all the way up, it won't be white white. So I have to turn it until it's on the side. Bring the side down. That Bring the left side down. Bring it back. Bring it up. Now the reds are in line, so I just have to turn it. Now here's red orange. Red, white, I mean orange, white. It's already matched up for me, so I'm just got to turn it. Now for the corners. Let's see. Orange, green. Already in there, so you have to turn to the right, bring down left, bring it back, bring it up. Let's look for another corner. Here's one. Green, red. So put in between green and red, turn it to the right, left, turn it to the left, bring down right side, bring it back, bring it up. Now, let's look for another corner. There's none, except because they are on the top. So we're just going to paste a different corner in there. So I'm just going to put in this orange, yellow, blue up here so I can get this down. So we turn it to the left, bring it on the right side, bring it back, bring it up. Now I've taken out this, so you want to put in between red, red and blue. So you turn it out of the way, bring it down, bring it back, bring it up. It's not placed in correctly, so you have to turn the face, turn it out of the way, bring this back up. Now it's good. So it's in between blue and red. You have to turn it to the left, bring down the right side, bring it back, bring it up. Now let's look for orange and blue. Place it in between orange and blue, and we turn it to the left, bring down the right side, bring it back, bring it up. Now we've solved the whole first layer. Time to solve the second layer. So let's look for orange green on the bottom layer. So let's see. Here it is. So it's already matched up with orange, so you just have to turn it to the left, bring down the right side, bring it back, bring it up. Now we have a slice of corn, so you have to turn it to the right, bring down the left side, bring it back, bring it up. We place this corn, this edge in. Now let's look for another one. How about this red blue? So match up the reds, turn it to the left. Bring down the right side, bring it back, bring it up. Now we've misplaced the corner, so turn it to the left, bring down the right side, bring it back, bring it up. I meant to the right, bring down the left side, back. Okay, so now orange blue already matched up for me, two oranges, so we have to turn it to the right, bring down the left side, bring it back, bring it up. Misplaced the corner, so we have to replace it. Turn it to the left, bring down the right side, bring it back, bring it up. Now we have almost solved the second layer. So these reds are matched, so you have to turn it to the right, bring it on the left side, bring it back, bring it up. Now we misplace the grass, so you have to put it back in. Turn it to the left, bring it on the right side, bring it back, bring it up. Now we've solved the whole second layer. Mm -hmm. So now we want to turn this so at least two of these are matched up. You've got these two. We do not have these two. So we're going to... Turn the face, bring this up, bring this back, bring this down, bring this back, bring this down. Now we've also made this L, so first of all, let's solve the cross real quick. Bring it up, turn the face, bring up the left side, the right side, bring, turn the top, bring down the left, right side, bring it back, and bring it back. Now if we, now I need to solve, the, we need to get this line to the cross. So it makes it horizontal. And you turn the f face, bring up the right side, turn it, turn the top to the left, bring on the right side, turn it back, bring it down. Now we've solved the cross. And with one simple move, we'll have all of these aligned. <coughs> now moving on to the corners. So we want this corner to be in, this corner to be in, in between yellow, orange, and green. Right now it's in between yellow, blue, and red, so this is not placed correctly. We want this one to be in between yellow, red, blue. Right now it's in between yellow, orange, blue. So this isn't placed incorrectly. We want this to be in between yellow, green, orange. This is, I mean, we want it in between 
yellow, blue, orange. This is in between yellow, green, orange. So this is placed incorrectly. Now this one is perfectly placed. So we want to hold it. So it's on the bottom right, right here. And we perform this algorithm. We lift up the left, turn the top once, lift up the right, turn it back, bring this down, bring this back, bring this down, and turn the top. And we do it again. Turn the top, bring it, turn, bring the right, left side up, turn the top, bring the right side, bring it back, bring it down, bring it back, bring it down, bring it back. Now you've got these two, so we want to hold it like this, and we perform that same algorithm. Lift up the right side, turn the top twice, bring down the right side, turn it back, bring it up, bring it back, bring it down. Do the same thing on the right, lift up the left, turn the top twice, bring this down, bring this back, bring this up. Bring this back, bring this down. There, you solved the whole cube.